everyone in today's video i am going to show how we can use canvas with a uh, salesforce and node.js application so the screen in front of me it's a very simple node.js application that i have built uh, basically it is using express and uh, egs template uh, if let's say uh, you are getting the get request i am just simply saying hello however uh, in case of canvas uh, the authentication between salesforce and canvas application happens as a signed request in a post body so basically this function is going to execute so uh, what i am saying here is uh, in the post in case of post uh, i am going to read the request i am going to decrypt it and i am going to check okay uh, authentication is success or not if the authentication is not success of course i am printing authentication failed otherwise i am printing some information in my console app console log it was just to debug my application however the most important line is this one i am calling my index.egs file and i am just passing a title and the request and the envelope i am getting is basically uh, after uh, so i have i extracted encoded uh, envelope uh, and then i am passing it to the json uh, object so if you go ahead and see how index.ages ejs has been written it's a very simple i'm using a css style sheet from a bootstrap i am also using a javascript library named json tree uh, i have included in my git repository and let's say it is actually provided by uh, summer style and this is the website so I use that library and all I am doing is uh, as we are passing the envelope in the request as you can see here uh, in the request we are passing the uh, string equivalent of envelope and here all I am doing is I am initiating the JSON tree view and I am just showing the value that we got as a part of the signed request. So this is the simple node.js side. What we have to do in the Salesforce is first of all we have to create a connected app. So I created a connected app already here. Uh, we have to enable the OAuth so that we know that what is all going to your scope. But uh, this URL really doesn't matter. Uh, I have my local host, but uh, URL can be anything here. The important part here is uh, I'm saying okay, this is a Canvas app. Uh, this is the URL of the Canvas app. I am saying okay, access is going to be the signed request. This is the most common way to use a canvas. There is also OAuth, but signed request gives you the, all the user context, environment, and everything. For the time being, I am saying that this connected app can be used on all these locations like Chatter Feed, Chatter Tab, Console, uh, Mobile Navigation, CTI, Publisher, Visual Force page. For the time being, uh, let's remove this and that's it once the uh, connected app setup is done we have to go to the policy and make sure that we are saying uh, uh, admin approved users are reauthorized if we don't do that so in that case if i go here on my app.js let's say uh, i will say something instead of hello uh yeah so ha actually it's a hello.egs so basically if it is not approved uh this would be executed let's try this so i am saying that okay this connected app is not approved by system administrator let's see how the thing gonna happen so now what i have done is in my salesforce org i have created a, a apex page and I'm using a tag canvas app and I'm saying localhost use the localhost connected app this is the exactly same uh, API name if I show here mm -hmm. okay so let's go on app manager and I have this one this is my canvas app name this is exactly what i have said here now once the visual force page is uh, deployed i have used account page and i have had created a tab as a canvas app if you go ahead and see edit page here 
I have added the visual force page component here okay so going back here uh, let's see what happens so right now my server app is not loaded uh, it says uh, you don't have a permission to view the this one let's see if I start my server what happens I'll say okay server is listening so if I go ahead and refresh this it still says that I am not approved to use it because I just removed my permission so I will go ahead I will manage and I will add myself in a profile saying system admin so once I am done I'm, I can go ahead and account page let's refresh this page and as you can see now it rendered this it rendered index.ejs because in my app it called the post method because authentication everything is successful and in my index.ejs I have everything the canvas app working as expected all those information and my JSON tree view is also visible so if I go back here and if I see context let's say environment this is record and every all the attribute everything so as i can see there's a ton of information available as my sign request i have information about my application id uh reference id all those other stuff i have location uh, I, do, I have not initialized any parameter but parameter could also come here and then i have all the org related information multi org multi currency enable is a true by default currency and so on I also have a logged in user related information saying that okay what is my first name last name and all those stuff so that's pretty neat it's very easy implementing a canvas application on your existing uh, web application now node.js is the sample here it can be php uh, ruby on rails on any other application so again just to recap i got a request i did some check saying that authentication is successful or not using uh, some uh, crypto classes or crypto libraries available here i got my envelope i converted my envelope to the json passed to my egs and boom i have all the information here in my uh, application now another very important part about canvas app which is a kind of the advanced canvas is you can control who can see it you can change the behavior like you can change the url uh, you can inject uh, some more parameter to the payload in fact you can also control who can access it and you can uh, send out some custom error so just to give you a quick demo i have this apex class which i'm going to inject all it has to do is it has to implement canvas dot canvas lifecycle handler uh, in fact we can exclude the data so right now if you see we have a tons of data available here we have user context uh, we have application context environment and so on you can exclude that and also during the render uh, you can add some behavior like you can add some more field right now if you see here i am only getting attribute as id but let's say you want to get some more field on account you can add here uh, what i'm going to show is let's assume you have some custom logic here saying that okay if this is a jitendra ja uh, don't show this or you can also see it's rendered on account and any kind of the custom logic can be here right now i have very simple uh, always throw an error saying this is a sample error message let's deploy this go back on canvas application here and we are going to use that apex class okay so we again have to go to app manager i'm going to edit this and i'm going to use this apex class lifecycle handler so now i'm going to say in the canvas app intercept this apex class and it can have it can give you the more control advanced control on the canvas application if you want to now all i'm doing is just throw an error saying uh, this is a some sample error message and see how it looks like in the lightning experience if i go on my account record again if I refresh this page, you can see we are getting this is a sample error message exactly that we got in the lifecycle.
so like uh, we saw that canvas is pretty uh, uh, easy to implement and at the same time you can have a very advanced uh, options available you can go through the canvas uh, developer guide and the apex class that i was talking about this is the apex class that you can go and you can refer so it talks about how the lifecycle handler class works uh, what it needs to implement what are the two methods that we need to implement hope you enjoy this video and you learn something new please subscribe to this channel and don't forget to share and comment thank you mm -hmm.